So on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you could actually export the things that you created in Fusion. So then you can use it as a template later on for other projects. So let's go ahead and see how we could do this. Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. All right, and so in DaVinci Resolve, you're probably gonna spend a lot of time creating things. Like for example, I've created this subscribe animation button. And whenever I go into Fusion, there was a lot of work, at least for me to actually get this done. So there's multiple nodes here, each with their own settings. So this took me quite a while to create this. And I do want to use this in other projects in the future so that I don't have to recreate this. Now, there are a number of ways you can use this. You can use power bins, you can use macros, you could save this as a setting. There's so many different ways you could do this. But today, I'm going to be showing you a very simple way in which you could save all of this as a composition. And then later, you could import this into other projects. And so all you have to do is make sure that you are in Fusion. And then you could do a Control A or you could simply use your mouse to control everything. And then if you're on Apple Mac, you could do Shift A. And so I've gone ahead and chosen all these nodes and then you can go here to File. And then what you can do is go down here to Export and then Export Fusion Composition. Now you could put it wherever you want. So in this case, I have a folder already set up and I've already saved this before, but in this case to show you that it works, I'm gonna name this Test. All right, so I'm gonna say Test. And let's just say sub button. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now it's saved. So once you've done that, let's go ahead and open up a new project. We're going to go here to home. I'm going to open up a brand new project. And I'm not going to save this one. So we'll go ahead and create this project. And so now we're in our new project. We're in our edit page. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drag in a video clip. So I'm going to drag it right there. And once I have my clip, I'm going to bring it down to my project timeline. And now we have our clip. So we now want to go ahead and add that composition with those effects or whatever designs we created. So the first thing I want to do is go down here to our toolbox, or you could go up here to your effects library and come down here to effects. And there you're going to see fusion composition. So I'm going to drag this into my project. And once you've done that, make sure that your Fusion composition is chosen and then go down here to Fusion. Protect your online privacy and keep data brokers from selling your personal information by using Delete Me, the number one privacy information remover service since 2010. Sign up today and get 20% off your first order. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So here we're in Fusion and all you have to do is go up here to File import and then you see an option for import fusion composition so i'm going to choose that and go to the folder where you save your composition file so in this case there's that test sub button go ahead and open it and there is my fusion composition with the designs that i created previously and once you have that loaded up you could go back to edit and it's going to render this out and now you can actually modify the clip like you would any other clip. So there it is. And this one extends longer than the Fusion composition that I have. The default, I think, is five seconds. So I'm going to extend this out. So it actually has the whole animation in there. And there it is. And it's still rendering this out. But once it's rendered out, I could edit this, you know. So here, I could go here to the lower left. And here's the free transform. So I could either adjust it right here under an inspector, or I could manually move things around. I could resize it. So I'm just showing you a simple example. I'm just going to resize it right here. And let's go ahead and go back to the beginning of this. So where my playhead is at. I'm going to play. There's the animation. And it's still rendering it out, but that's the other part of the animation. And then once it's done, it would disappear. So as you can see there, it's very easy for you to save a composition that you spent a lot of time on and then reuse it in other projects. So if you actually had 
any thoughts in this or any other ways in which you save uh, designs or effects that you've made either in Fusion or in other parts of DaVinci Resolve, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area if you want to take a look at that. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Goal Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Goal Content Creators Group.